Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at the 10 weirdest NPCs in The Legend of Zelda. Oh. For this list, we'll be exploring the oddest, most eccentric characters Link has met on his journeys throughout Hyrule and beyond. Which of these NPCs do you think is the strangest? Is there a bizarre character you wish we'd included? Share your Zelda love in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Hand in the Toilet, Various. The entry title alone should be plenty of evidence that this NPC deserves a spot. In Majora's Mask, if Link visits the Stockpot Inn's bathroom after midnight, he'll meet this unfortunate fellow seemingly stuck inside the toilet. He'll ask for paper, though we're unsure how that'll help in this particular predicament. He appears again in Oracle of Ages, being part of the trading quest, but still requiring paper. The character was based on Japanese ghost stories about spectral hands that grab you from below. Nintendo took a further step towards that inspiration in Skyward Sword with Feeny. This actual ghost hand can be found in the Skyloft Academy's bathroom, and will fall in love with Colin should Link hand over the love letter meant for Karain. <laughs> Great fairies, various. Most appearances of the Great Fairies aren't that weird, but it's the other instances that are much more memorable. In Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, they wear only vines and shriek with laughter when you call them. Not only that, but the early 3D graphics make some of their features a bit pointier than they should be. Then you have the Great Fairies of Breath of the Wild, who can strengthen Link's armor sets. What's weird is that their magic must apparently be doled out in a sensual nature. They'll blow Link a kiss for upgrading armor once, but by the fourth time, they'll drag him into their flower as the screen fades to black. Afterward, Link will lie on the ground exhausted, while the Great Fairy looks very satisfied. <laughs> Batro, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword In Link's floating home of Skyloft lies a lesson to never treat others based on appearance. At a certain point, the little girl Kukiel will go missing. Link will hear word of a monster, and will come running to Kukiel's aid when he hears her scream outside the monster's home. Instead of finding a mini-boss fight, Link will meet Batro, who dreams of being human and often plays the scream as loud as you can game with Kukiel. Inviting a small child to your home while her parents are worried sick isn't a great first impression, but despite his massive wings and horns, Batro is completely harmless. In fact, he'll give Link rewards for gratitude crystals earned through side quests, eventually becoming the human he always dreamed of. Kamaro, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Oh. Throughout Majora's Mask, Link fills his bomber's notebook with Termina citizens who need his help. While most are regular people, some, like Kamaro, are not. You'll find the dancing spirit at night near the entrance to the mountains. Everything from his dreamy way of speaking to the fact that he only wears a loincloth is weird. <laughs> He feels sorrow for the fact that he came up with some sick dance moves, but died before he could teach them to the world. Being the helpful lad he is, Link uses the Song of Healing to ease Kamaro's pain and gains one of the weirdest masks in the game. Completely blank except for the Kamaro head haphazardly stitched on top, it lets Link shake a leg whenever he wants. Magda the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Some people take gardening way too seriously. One of the game's many shrines can be found at the Floret Sandbar, surrounded by a maze of flowers planted by Magda. She's honestly done a great job, 
But you better pray you don't step on her work. If you do, Magda will be upset enough to make Link start the maze over. A second offense will cause her to become more irate, but the third time he steps on them, ooh buddy. Magda will lose all sense of composure, slouching forward before throwing a world-class tantrum. She'll then attack Link, knocking off three hearts no matter how strong your armor is. That'll teach you to respect someone's hard work, you little punk. Uku, The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. Uku is one of the most helpful characters in Twilight Princess, doubling as an item that lets Link quickly exit and return to any dungeon. That doesn't change the fact that she has one of the strangest character designs across the entire series. Uku is of the Uka race, small bird-like beings with human heads. While her personality isn't that weird, we marveled at her odd design every time we came across her. You can imagine our surprise and dumbstruck awe when we eventually made it to the City in the Sky, Uku's home populated by countless others like her. Her egg-shaped head, the confusing decision to give her what looks like breasts, her son who is really just a baby head with wings on the side. Everything about Uku confounds and fascinates us. Happy Mask Salesman the Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. <laughs> While he has appeared in other games, we all know it's the Majora's Mask version who's the strangest and, by far, most unsettling. He'll seem to know an awful lot about Link when you first meet him, inducting him to be his savior. But what has been rubbing players the wrong way for more than two decades is his demeanor. <laughs> The constantly smiling face, the creepy laugh, and his cryptic behavior are all very unnerving. He can switch at the drop of a dime, however, as seen when Link fails to bring him Majora's Mask, yelling at and shaking the poor boy. With his obsession with masks and their history, he's one of the more mysterious figures in Zelda lore. <laughs> Maggie, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Maggie of Windfall Island may seem and look like a regular girl, but her side quest makes it clear she's anything but. Once incredibly poor, she returned home after Link rescued her from the Forsaken Fortress with a ton of rare skull necklaces. Her father earned a fortune selling them, but it's actually one of her captors he should thank. While imprisoned, Maggie fell in love with a moblin named Mo. <laughs> During her side quest, Link can deliver a letter from Mo where he proclaims a desire to eat her, a message she takes for a marriage proposal. Uh, what? We're not ones to shame this romance, since we did put Sidon on our list of sexiest Zelda characters after all. But Moblins are near mindless pig monsters, and we've gotta draw a line somewhere. Kilton, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. There have been some odd shopkeepers in the Zelda series. We're big fans of Beetle, the overly polite workaholic, but the award for weirdest salesman in Hyrule has to go to Kilton from Breath of the Wild. This Hylian looks like he's taken on some physical attributes of the monsters he's obsessed with, and obsessed is definitely the right word to describe him. Kilton's shop, the Fang and Bone, can only be found at night, but periodically changes locations. He deals in trading monster parts, offering wares that no one else has. He even sells homemade masks based on them so Link can blend in. We've never seen someone as giddy about monstrous beasts as Kilton, except maybe Hagrid. Tingle. Various. Yeah! 
From the moment we came across this map maker in Majora's Mask, we knew something was off. Tingle dresses like a forest fairy in an attempt to attract a fairy of his own, and is jealous of Link's partnership with Tattle. The 35-year-old has never really wanted to grow up, even creating his own magical catchphrase. He's appeared in several other games since, getting others to dress like him and overcharging us to decipher maps. Although his childlike nature and sense of style are certainly peculiar, that has also made him one of the more well-known side characters of the franchise. His quirkiness has led to an equally strange spin-off series in Japan and an appearance in Hyrule Warriors. There's nothing quite like seeing this odd duck in an all-out battle. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.